y'all this is dina welcome to my channel okay so i'm back today um i am making a chicken and pasta for dinner and i thought i would share my recipe with you it's super simple now i know this looks crazy right here but i've already pre-cooked my chicken so let me move it over here so you can see and let me tell you exactly what was in it so what i did is i took um a package of chicken uh, chicken tenders and I and I diced them up cut them up into chunks and I put two tablespoons of butter in my pan with some garlic with some minced garlic and the chicken and I started to cook the chicken and then I added salt and pepper and chili powder about oh um, maybe about a tablespoon of chili powder and that's how I got this chicken mixture right here so this is gonna be so quick y'all so I've also, too, cooked my penne pasta. It's the kind I'm using. And I'm going to get this all mixed up. But let's go ahead. I'm going to use this um, baking dish right here. And I'm going to spray it with some, I use olive oil spray. You can use whatever you want. You can even line it with butter if you want. But I just use some olive oil spray. And set that aside. And I'm gonna make this easy on myself. In my pot, I have all my pasta that's already pre-cooked. I'm gonna add in my chicken. Get that in the sink. I'm done with that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir. So I've got my chicken in there. And then I'm going to add in one jar of this creamy Alfredo. Sorry about that, y'all. So I'm adding my Alfredo. Now, granted, this is not no diet dish, but it is very delicious and it goes a long way. And then I'm going to add in the garlic Alfredo. The gar You want to do the garlic because that garlic makes it really taste good. And this really is going to coat your noodles really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this a stir. Look at that. Look at that. I was fixing to put this together and I thought, you know what, I could share this recipe with y'all. So there we go. That looks really good and incorporated. Let me make sure there's nothing left in these jars. You want all the sauce. My husband and I could eat on this for your well. Tonight and tomorrow, if we wanted, it makes a lot, but I don't know how to cut this down in size. Okay, so there we go on that. So now you want to add in some mozzarella, and I'm just using this one I got from Walmart. And I'm gonna put about I'm gonna put about a cup because this is not the only cheese you're gonna put in here. Okay, let me grab my scissors. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna eyeball it, add in my cheese, and this one is mozzarella. And then I'm also gonna add a little Italian cheese, and I know that has a little mozzarella in it, but this is what makes it good. I know it's a lot of cheese, but it's so delicious. And then I'm gonna give this a stir, get it all mixed up. Make sure everything is coated, every needle, every noodle is covered. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm going to pour this in my baking dish. I hope my baking dish can fit all of this. It's looking good, I can do it. That all look how nicely coated that is. The big chunks of chicken. This is not the end, friends. Okay, now it's hard for you to see that. A little bit of chicken. You don't want to leave the chicken out. And I use chicken breast. 
Okay, so now look how that's looking. This is not the end. So now I'll be right back. I've got one more thing I've got to get. Actually two. Okay, so um, now I'm going to add some diced up tomatoes and some broccoli that I steamed already. Now, if you want to do a shortcut for your broccoli while you're cooking your noodles, you could add the broccoli in with your noodles and let it all cook at the same time. But the only kind of broccoli I had is the kind that you steam in the bag. So I steamed it and now I just chopped it off, chopped it up. So now I'm just gonna kind of add it in. I like more tomatoes and broccoli in it. So all of the tomatoes and that goodness is gonna go in there. These are just cherry tomatoes that I purchased at my local Kroger. They're very sweet. So I'm gonna take my spoon and see if I can kind of mix this up a little bit. Look at that goodness already. Tomatoes make it so good, y'all. And my pan is already, it's overflowing, but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So I'm giving it a good toss. Got my broccoli, got my tomatoes. Y'all, this is delicious. Now, it's just gonna get better, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of Parmesan and the mozzarella, and actually, you can use what you want, but I'm gonna add both of them, and you're gonna sprinkle it over the top. This is so good, y'all. I don't get to make this often unless I'm at home. I'm gonna add a little bit more mozzarella on the top. And then I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna bake it until it's nice and bubbly. Um, probably about 35 to 40 minutes. I've got my oven preheating at 350. And yeah, it's gonna be good, y'all. Okay, a little bit more parm on the top. And that's it. That's how you get it ready. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. And when it comes out, I'll let you know what it looks like. It's so delicious, y'all. Okay, so I've just taken my pasta out of the oven and let me show you. Oh, look at the cheesiness. So delicious. I'm gonna dig down in here and I want you to see, look at that. It is so delicious. It's kinda hot, I can't taste it yet, but look at that and if you get in here and get these tomatoes in with it it is delicious y'all so i'm fixing to get my rolls in the oven that's been rising for a bit i'll show you what those look like too anyway okay so here's my rolls took them out of the oven i put melted butter with garlic salt on them and that my friends will go with dinner hope you enjoyed this recipe Thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.